California. Peter's in New York City. Uh, and if you have a website, you can put in the link in the chat. Love to like check out to see what you're doing. And more importantly, if you have a Facebook fan page, put that Facebook fan page link in the chat so I can check out what you're up to. And that way we can tailor the presentation more to your needs. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Vic. And if you can uh, answer any questions that pop up there, if you don't mind, that'd be dynamite. Yeah, right, I'll, so I'll, be, I'll be moderating the chat. Okay. All right, guys. Hey, let's get started. Uh, this is Facebook domination <coughs> secrets. And uh, Vic, how do I mute out everybody? Uh, let me just go and make the panel. Make the panel. All right. All right. I'll take I'll care of it. You don't mind. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm not a moderator. You have to be a, a moderator. I'm here. Okay. Okay. You're a host. You're a host. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. Uh, and just to let you know, just as you saw here, you don't have to be a tech guru. I know quite a bit, but I don't know everything. So uh, we got a lot of stuff here for you today. Thanks a lot for coming on on an afternoon and a kind of short notice. And as I was putting this together, I said, man, there's so much information here to share. Uh, I just got to share it with as many people as possible. So I started to, uh, to post it out to everybody. And we got a nice crowd here this afternoon. So it's entitled Facebook Domination Secrets. And uh, it's by myself, Peter Wolfing, but also, uh, and just before this started, I got in touch with Victor and asked him to come on, and uh, he uh, came on as well, too. So if you can insert Victor Grant on there, that'll be dynamite, and I'll introduce him in just a little bit. And this is about tips and tricks and positioning, so you can uh, position yourself, prosper, and profit on the world's largest social media platform. So you don't just want to live, you want to dominate. You want to dominate on Facebook, and what most people are doing is they're just existing, and they're winging it. They're just winging it on Facebook, and they don't have a guide, and they don't have a, a, a plan to be able to dominate on Facebook. And I'm going to tell you right now, I can't give you everything on this webinar. It's not possible in one hour. So as we go through this, we're going to show you how you can actually get more information, okay? So, you know, as you're on Facebook, have you ever wondered how some people, they're able to not only spend millions of dollars on their Facebook ads, but doubled and tripled and quadrupled those numbers in profits? You ever wonder that and how you can actually get up to that area, that way to do it? What they did was they had a plan. They had a plan on how they're going to be able to do everything. So if you've ever wondered how they do that, if you've ever wondered how when somebody posts something, they have thousands of people respond and thousands of likes and thousands of um, or hundreds or thousands of people commenting because they have a plan. Because as Wallace Waddle says in his book, The Science of Getting Rich, the people that are rich and the people that are not, they're the same exact people. The rich people do things in a very specific way. Now, you can transfer that into Facebook people, right? People that are making it in Facebook, they're no different than you or I. Trust me. They're no different than you or I. They just do things in a very specific, methodical way. They measure everything. They just don't wing it. They measure everything. Uh, someone says they can't hear, so uh, can everybody hear me? Victor, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you perfectly. All right, great. So that's if you, just a bandwidth issue. And, and guys, don't worry about this. We're recording this, and we're right. going to post the replay. So if there's any audio or technical difficulties, don't worry. It's more important that you listen, participate, interact, hang out with us in the chat, and we'll take care of you. Okay. 
Yeah, also awesome. So if you can't hear, just type in there that yes, we can hear so Victor can see that. So I'm not just talking on a screen because we got some great information here for you. So guys, if you've ever wondered how people do that, we're going to start to release this information to you on how that's possible. How many of you people on here that are watching would type this in here? Yes, you'd like me to share or just say yes, that you'd like me to share some of these secrets on how people do this. Now, obviously, I'm going to make, we're going to give these a little bite-sized pieces, actually 23 pieces, 23 pieces today we're going to give you today. These are called Facebook Domination Secrets, Facebook Domination Secrets, and they're little bite-sized pieces that anybody can do to be able to elevate themselves and start to get and position themselves on Facebook so they can prosper, okay? So if you'd like me to share that, type in yes in the chat, and we'll be able to start sharing that stuff with you today. So on this webinar here, you're going to discover these bite-sized pieces. You know, you eat an elephant one piece at a time. You know, if you would <laughs> do this, it's kind of gross, actually. <laughs> but if you could do that, I'm get, you're getting the, the, the paraphrase there. But if you could do that, the same thing with information. You're not going to learn everything in 45 minutes to 50 minutes today, but you can start to do things to be able to get all this information eventually over time. And that's how you do it. You grow over time. Okay, so vitally important. And I promise you, and I know Victor promises you, to give you everything and not hold anything back. But also, Victor and myself, we got to hold ourselves back a little bit because I know he and I, we, we're givers. We love to give, and we would love to give you, I think, collectively, Vic, collectively Victor, Victor, probably 50 years of information on the Internet to give you tonight. And we just can't do it because I know if we gave you all this stuff here now, what would start to happen is your brain would get overloaded and it would shut off. You wouldn't hear anything that we're talking about anymore. And it would be like that Charlie Brown cartoon with the teacher talking, wah, 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 and you wouldn't hear anything. So if we give you too much, it's going to be no good. It's going to clog up the fire hose. So we got to make it small bite-sized pieces, and that's what we're doing here today in this webinar. So the time is now. The time is now for you to figure this stuff out because Facebook is the big gorilla out there. Yes, there's other things that are out there. Yes, we're going to be able to learn that stuff as well too. But the big gorilla, you got to be able to learn how to use the big gorilla out there to market, to generate leads, and we're going to go over some of those aspects of it today. So the perfect time right now is the time of the entrepreneur. We're in the information age. We're in the attention age right now. It's everybody's vying for attention with everything just going all over the place. How do you make yourself different? Okay, we'll talk, cover that today as well too. The problem that most people do is they just say, oh, I'm going to come into the business. I'm going to throw some information out there. I'm going to throw a few tweets, a few posts. Oh, I didn't make it. This business doesn't work. Or, oh, I didn't make it. This Facebook thing doesn't work. Or they just post a few things or they start spamming people and they're wondering why you get slapped with Facebook and they, they knock you off your ad campaigns because you're not doing it right. Okay, Victor actually speaks with Facebook, which I know is an oxymoron, but he actually speaks with people on Facebook directly and they call him because they talk back and forth because he's been around since the age of the dinosaurs as I have, so he can give you first-hand information. He speaks directly with ad managers in Facebook. So why should you listen to me, and I'm not going to uh, go over this too much here, but I kind of know what I'm talking about, okay? Um, I've been around. I've been endorsed by Kevin Harrington. I've won XB Awards, and I'm a member of the National Association of Experts, Writers, and Speakers. i got a 501c3. I've been around over 20 years in my business, but 30 years, 28 years online, and I've helped millions of people earn lots of money, okay? So I've done this for a long, long, long time, and I'm a giver. Like I said, I like to share information, and I'm a teacher at heart. So... I'm going to skip really over my story quite a bit because we just don't have that much time. But I started back in 1990 before the internet really got going. And over the first few years, it was, I mean, I remember when I first started, I almost gave up on the internet because the, the bandwidth was so small. You it couldn't really work it that well. And we were doing cassette tapes and VHS tapes and things like that. And I count my lucky stars right now. And I say to, to people that say, say right now, oh, I can't do it. And I look at them and I say, do you know how lucky you are right now? In the age that you have with the bandwidth, with the stuff you can do on a cell phone, the stuff you can do on your computer, reach around the world for literally nothing, you are in such a perfect time compared to when we started way back when. And, uh, you know, Victor, you started with Bob Heyman when he started doing the SEO, which he coined. And it was, um, you know, it, it was just grit and, and uh, you know, trying everything under the sun to see what would work. Now we know what works. And so we're here to kind of share that with you today. So I've also just authored a book with Brian Tracy, just came out called The Will to Win. 
So if you go there, you can see uh, what that's all about. But it's uh, thewilltowin.net, and it's a hardback book that I think you'll find really interesting because I go over aspects of fear, what fear is, how you can overcome fear. And even on Facebook, I know you can do a lot of things for free, but you also could pay for things. And even though it's free, sometimes it doesn't matter. Fear is still an element of people not making it. What about generating leads and having the fear of calling people up on the phone? So there's a lot of things in there. I dissect it, go into it, and I was actually selected by the author and the publisher of the book. Well, I was an author, but the publisher of the book as one of the outstanding chapters in the book. So I think you find it very, very helpful in your business. Also coming out later on this month is a book with Richard Branson called Performance 360 with about 40 other authors as well, too. So, guys, um, I've been around the block a little bit, and I love to teach what I know. So Victor gave me this slide, and I love it. <laughs> Anybody know what this is? This is actually the yellow pages. The white pages on the left, the yellow pages on the right. And if you, you're kind of newbies out there, you don't even know what this is. This is like archaic. But this is the way people in business used to advertise. You open it up, you have to look around, and you only get the local stuff in there. And it was just so, so, so slow, right? Not to mention all the trees that it would kill. <laughs> so, you know, this was a thing back then. And if you want to know the secret on how we actually build our internet business, well, here's, here's the secret. I mean, you're looking at this, this slide here. Look at all these different things. Motivation, wisdom, success, teaching, leadership, research, business. And you're looking at yourself and you're going, oh, my God, I, how do I get a handle on all this stuff? We're going to boil it down to one or two key things that you can start today to really build on and start to, to roll with, okay? The main thing right now is communication. If you're able to communicate with people via Facebook, not just send a post, but actually have meaningful communication with people and get it to a point where you're physically talking with people, that equals freedom. Okay, not just posting. And I, and I was saying with about fear before, people, they think communication is, I have a friend. That's not communication. Okay, people have a, a dearth of, of uh, actual meaningful communications with other people because of the age of technology. It hasn't really brought us together, it's put us further apart. So if you've gone to a restaurant, hey, I'm, I'm you know, <laughs> I fall into this trap all the time too, where you have pe four people at a table and all of them are on the phone. So um, that's one of my things that I have to really work on. I'll tell you that right now, I'm sucked into that as well too. People are together, but they don't really communicate. So that's the key with Facebook is if you can get it to a communication where you're actually talking with them, you don't have to sit and have coffee with them if you're not close, but if you can talk to them, that equals freedom. I love this slide too, and this was given by, by Victor, is you gotta understand that Facebook is not likes, it's not pictures, it's dealing with humans, right? People are on the other side of this, and everyone is different, and eventually the art part the art part, A-R-T, part of building your business is the art of how you actually get to talk to people. And when you physically talk to them, how do you know what kind of personality type they are? Who are they? Can you tell by their voice or what they're talking about? Maybe before you call them up, looking at their history. I love that mask, Victor. Looking at their history, V for Vendetta. <laughs> looking at their history, right? And then being able to adjust the way you speak to them because you've got skills. OK, so but understand, understanding on the other side of, of everybody that you're talking to or conversing with or chatting with on Facebook are humans. OK, and you have to be able to develop the skill to be able to find out what kind of personality type they are and be able to meet them and connect with them on, on their own. So. I said this before, I kind of hinted with it. I wish I had the time to teach you everything that I could on this one webinar, 45, 50 minutes. I just can't do it. Victor just can't do it. It's not possible. So what I'm going to do is give you as much as we can now, but at the end of this, we're going to show you how you can get more information, okay? Victor, if you can come on out, I want to introduce uh, my guest speaker today. His name is Victor Grant, and as you can see on here, the guy is totally talented, and uh, he has been around for a long, long time. Victor, please unmute, unmute yourself and come on out. Yeah, hey, happy Halloween, everyone. <laughs> Happy Halloween. All right, Halloween. <laughs> yeah, I love V for Vendetta. How many of you guys have seen that movie? Just say yes to the chat oh, yeah. if you know V for Vendetta. That's right. Okay, so that's what it takes to really succeed in Facebook is you have to be different than everyone else. Peter already said that. A little bit about my background. I got to start 
because I was part of a, an income builders international in the nineties. And Jack Canfield was one of the top trainers in there. And uh, I'm going to take the mask off right now. So you, you guys just can see me. I'm a real person. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jack actually was helping me write a proposal to Microsoft. And I wanted to do a CD-ROM about Buckminster Fuller, Bucky Fuller. I'm a real big Bucky Fuller fan. As you can see, EarthGrid is my company. I started that. It's a search engine. Uh, many have actually said it's better than Google uh, in finding small, little niche websites. And... Uh, I, I've been around since the age of the dinosaurs, as, as Peter said, um, but I really wasn't always that way. I wanted to make a CD-ROM, and I, I, I faxed uh, this proposal to Microsoft, and I got a letter in the mail, and they said, hey, Vic, you got some great ideas. Why don't you come and head up our personal growth and leadership channel at MSN and, and launch Windows 95? And that's where I got my start, and, and it was kind of funny because I had Deepak Chopra uh, Jack Canfield, you know, they were calling me for interviews. And um, back then, the internet didn't exist, and we were all on dial-up modems. So what I had is someone on a, on a headset like this that was, like, typing in what, what Deepak would say. And we th – but the thing is, they still had the heat. We had 2,000 people showing up at a live event like this consistently every single week. It was exciting. It was powerful. Uh, it was it was the dawn of the internet, and then the internet came out in '97, and I switched to being a, a search engine guy. So it's a little bit about my story. Uh, back to you, Peter. All right, thanks, Vic. <laughs> so um, while 97% of purchasing decisions are starting on the internet, less than 6% are happening on the internet. What do you think about that, Vic? Well, I, uh, I was shocked when I got this slide uh, because uh, a courtesy to uh, Ryan Dice and uh, Digital Marketer for this slide and Russ Huttonberry, uh, if you don't know what, what uh, these guys have done, let me see if I can find the book here, uh, Digital Marketing for Dummies. I mean, highly recommend. It. It's one of the most advanced books on digital marketing ever created. Uh, this is really key. I just finished a product launch with Kevin Harrington. Peter and, and, and I were working on this product launch for the, the perfect pitch. Many of you may have seen that. Uh, it ended last night. But most of my sales, now pay attention to this. I was sending tens of thousands of emails. I was sending, spending uh, hundreds of dollars on Facebook ads. What generated the most sales was when I picked up the phone and I called people. Amazing. And that's it. But they had already seen my email. They had already seen my Facebook ad and they were ready. They just needed to know, Hey, is this, is this Vic? Is this really real? And, and many of them, when, when I gave them a call, they said, Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. What is that thing? I, I got too many emails from you on that subject, but I haven't had time to read any of that. And that was almost every single person said that. And what I learned how to do was articulate in 30 seconds what this product was and they say oh really oh yeah i gotta get that even craig my um, uh ad agency manager in new york city he was kind of negative about the product and then when i explained it to him in one minute he became the most raving fan and he brought three customers to us in less than 12 hours that's how powerful you can have with connections so you want to think of all this digital marketing stuff, really, it doesn't work without the people component, without us looking in the camera, connecting, and just being real. Back to you, Peter. Yeah, absolutely. The human element and uh, going back to grassroots, that's for sure. All right, so tip number one, here we go. Okay, fast and furious. Friend five people a day and delete three to five people a day. Don't add more than 10 new friends a day or it'll hurt your visibility. Remember, Facebook rewards popular posts. Your new friends don't know you yet, so they will not be as interactive. In other words, you want to slowly add friends to make sure you don't have a complete drop in visibility. So what I'll do, Vic, is I'll read these, and if you want to give uh, some secondary component uh, add-ons to that, that'd be great. Okay, certainly. So, you know, 5,000, I have 5,000 friends. No, you don't. <laughs> so you want to go and you want to delete most of those people, actually, because they're not interacting with you. And uh, so 
here, you don't want to go and just click, 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 add people. You want to delete some, add some, and you want to have the, it's the interaction of the people on there that's the most important, not how many people you have. Right, Vic? Exactly. Uh, also, Facebook doesn't keep track of that many people. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll see that there's about 10 or 20 people that regularly uh, show up in your newsfeed, and you want to be one of those 10 or 20 people for others. Uh, especially with the new algorithm, the way it works now is you're going to see the same people. Uh, like Reese Jones introduced me to Facebook. His friend is Steve Case, who started AOL. And he knows everybody in Silicon Valley. He's a venture capitalist. And he turned me on to Facebook. And every single day, I get five, six, ten articles from Reese. And that's been going on for more than 12 years. Uh, since I ever got on Facebook. Yep. And, and here's that kind of leads us into number two is give before you take. Go spend 10 minutes liking and commenting on other people's posts before you post, okay? There isn't a set amount of time to spend before posting, but the new, cha a new changes reward those who are active. So I spend a good 10 minutes liking and commenting before I post. Okay, give before you take. That's what you were just saying, Vic. He's sending you articles and everything, right? He's not asking you for anything. He's just giving content and, and value added, right? Yeah, and he doesn't pitch anything. He never does. All he does is talk about, here's where I am, here's the conference I'm at, and here's an article from a major publication. Yep. And he's been consistently doing that for probably 12 years. Yep. Yeah, and every once I, I with the, what's the ratio, uh, Vic? Maybe every five posts you might pitch one. You know, and maybe, uh, it's, it's actually more like 80 20 now. 80 20, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. 80 20, just like you said. But if you really want to be a ninja, you want to go one out of 10. It's kind mm -hmm. of reverse. You want to pitch a lot less than sharing your content. Mm -hmm. Where you want to do the pitch is in your fan page. You want to do the pitch in your fan page mm -hmm. and then have your friends sharing your fan page to their friends. Awesome. All right, don't be a party crasher. Don't spend more than three times, don't post more than three times a day. If so called, um, if a so called social media expert tells you differently, then they're outdated. So don't post more than three a day, okay? Too many is too many. <laughs> uh, spread out your posts, okay? Spread out your posts. Don't post and then post again an hour later. Your posts are competing against each other when you do that. Let your post run its course for a little bit, and if a post ends up having a lot of engagement, you should consider not posting until the next day, okay? Depending on the engagement, okay? So <clears throat> when you post something that has a lot of engagement, maybe you go back in there and start moving around different things and, and engaging with it and interacting with it before posting something new. Yeah, absolutely. I, I use a, a tool called Social Kickstart to make sure that my posts mm -hmm on all my pages, I, I get really tempted and very excited and I wanna like share like 10 or 20 things. What this I thing do does is it automatically schedules them uh, three times a day during the most popular hours. So mm -hmm. I don't have to think about it. So I have my posts scheduled like a week in advance. Yeah, I do too. I, I'm, I'm very impulsive like that. When I get something, I just wanna post it and that's kind of the worst thing you can do. So um, number five, use Facebook Messenger daily Facebook wants to take over Snapchat, so the algorithm now rewards those who message daily. Let me go back here. Um, sorry about that. You want to be very careful with links. You yep. don't want to be posting links inside of your Facebook Messenger because mm -hmm. these links, especially to affiliate offers, and yep. please never use put JVZoo links in a Facebook Messenger chat. I don't think they'll let you. <laughs> they don't, well, they, they won't allow it. You'll get, but if you do it too often, then you can even have your account shut down. So yeah. don't be pitching people in chat, okay? What you wanna do is say, hey, I'd love to talk to you. Uh, could we talk on WhatsApp? Uh, what's your phone number? Let's connect. Uh, or or I, my p favorite tool is Skype. I have more friends in Skype than I have on Facebook, and they're real friends. I have over mm -hmm. 2,000 connections in Skype. So, I, and uh, Skype does not track your links, so you can actually share openly with any kind of links in mm -hmm. Skype. Uh, and, and same with uh, WhatsApp. WhatsApp is a, a really fantastic tool. Uh, it was, it's, a, it's a partner with Facebook now. So what we're saying is 
use Facebook to initiate to get them somewhere else later, right? Initiate exactly. to get them somewhere else later. So Zoom is actually really good too because mm -hmm. you can actually bring several people together mm -hmm. uh, and you can actually do multiple live streams on the internet with, uh, with, uh, uh, with, your, with your Zoom meetings. Yep. Um, keep the party at home, number six. Never leave a link in your post unless it's a paid ad. Facebook doesn't want you leaving their site ever, underline bold. Haven't you ever noticed that your posts with links in them don't get much traction? Yeah, so, and, and, yep. and, and guys, it, I just finished running a campaign and I spent a fortune per click, but I got sales because I was reaching the right kind of people. So if someone tells you that it doesn't cost a lot of money, they're not, they're not reaching the right kind of people. And it's more important, to, wouldn't you rather have two clicks that generate sales or would you rather have a hundred clicks with no results? Yeah. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Number seven, don't stand so close to me from the police. Facebook is cluttered. Unclutter your feed by staying friends with people you like, but you don't care to see their posts. Click on see first um, on the people you really want to follow and click close friends on anyone you absolutely love seeing their content. You get up to 30 of those people. Uh, those you click on as close friends will be the ones you get and it's instant notification on every single time they post. Okay, so yeah, all 5,000 are not considered the same. You can have close friends as well too. You look marvelous. <laughs> as Billy Crystal would say, you look marvelous. Have a well done profile picture. I can't tell you how many people I've deleted if, if they try to friend me with no picture or their picture looks horrible. So make sure you have a good profile picture, cover photo. This is the first thing people see when they go to your Facebook page. First impressions are important. New, pe new potential friends are much more likely to accept your friend request when you have a sharp looking profile or cover photo or end cover photo. So make sure that you have a really, really good one on there and consider what would other people think? How would they look at you from the picture that you have on there? Okay. What you want to do also is change it every month or two to keep people guessing. And Facebook also notifies everybody that you change your photo, which is a free publicity for you. So every once in a while, change the photo up. You really care. Number nine, unless you have way too many comments, try to reply to everyone who comments on your post and not just copy and paste posts. Try to type it in there. This shows appreciation and encourages those same people to comment more. It also boosts the interaction on your post, which then shows your post to more people. Space out your comments to maintain momentum. What I mean by that is, Vic, as I found this, is that if you have something that has a lot of engagement, right, um, you post and reply to a few of them, not all of them at the same time, because you reply to a few of them, that's going to push it up there. Then you wait a while, and then it starts to die down, and then you reply to a bunch later on, and that will push it up again. Okay? Consistency rules, number 10, be positive, be authentic, be vulnerable, be humorous. People like people that are funny. Right, Vic? <laughs> yeah. It, we actually ran a test, uh, uh, I think it was last year, uh, where we brought Eugene out. Uh, he's my uh, stuffed animal uh, okay. right now. Let's see, where do my other stuffed animals go? Oh, here we go. Uh, stuffed animals work really well. This is Nessie, the Loch Ness monster, and uh, one of the, one of these videos. I mean, if it seriously, it went from like a hundred views on the video to a thousand views because we opened the webinar with a stuffed animal, and it gets <laughs> contagious. Everyone on camera all of a sudden started bringing out their stuffed animal, and Bob Heyman, this is you know he's a very serious SEO guy. He invented search engine optimization. He brought out Grover from Sesame Street. And we <laughs> had a blast. And all of a sudden, people started sharing this video. Okay. So you want to think about, you know, the first 30 seconds of your webinar are really the key of whether that live video is going to go uh, anywhere, especially if you do Facebook Live. Guys, Facebook Live is so powerful. If you do one Facebook Live per day and nothing more, you're going to get, endless endless leads back to you peter 
Yep, absolutely. Hey, Vic, if you can see on your screen, if there's something on there that's making these red lines on the screen, I don't know if it's me or you doing that. Uh, I think it's in your PowerPoint. It's, I, okay. I don't see any annotation tools here. Let me see. Okay, I might be doing it. I'm not sure how to take that off if I can do that. Um, there's a refresh. Well, you can go to the next slide. Let's see what happens. All right. Don't always just share quotes. Share your insights on the uh, quote or topic. Don't always share your business insights. Uh, share your life and who you are. Mix it up and be authentic. Many times you'll see me post something, but on the first comment underneath, I'll post something else in my thoughts, and I'll go deeper as far as the quotes are concerned. Oh, it's still there. All right. We'll deal with it. Huh, there must be an a, a annotation icon on your screen, and you have to click the eraser tool. Yeah, I don't even know where that is. There we go. Uh, it's, it's not giving me an option for an eraser. All right, I see it. Okay, we'll deal with it. I think we still see it. Uh, add emojis on every post, and this is perfect with Social Jam. Uh, Victor was um, uh, one of the creators of Social Jam, and emojis increase engagement by over 33%. I did this with uh, many of the posts that I do. It's underlines, bolds, uh, emojis, all sorts of stuff that make you stand out. Remember, different is better, right? Different is better. Don't overdo it because your post will look very immature if you start doing it too much. Use a program such as Social Jam to make your post stand out with bold, underlined, strike through, and more. Vic, do you have a link for that, for Social Jam? Uh, yeah, I put it in the chat. Go to trafficjam.me. Okay, trafficjam.me. This is really simple. A baby can use this program, and it's so, within two minutes after you get it, you'll be using it. It's so simple, and you'll be able to make your post stand out over everybody else who's just sitting there. I use it myself, not all the time, but most of the time I'll be using it. Okay, hit me Facebook one more time, Britney Spears, number 12. Don't copy and paste others' content. Facebook punishes you for that. They punish you, number 13. Video, 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 you mentioned that, Facebook Live. Upload videos rather than post links to videos, right? Now, remember we said before in an earlier slide, Facebook doesn't like you going outside. Well, if you post a YouTube video or you post um, a Vimeo video, the link is going outside of Facebook. So what you should do, if you have the video yourself, try to upload the video from your computer to, uh, to Facebook. They'll like that a lot better, okay? Again, they don't want to go out, but you want to use video as much as possible, lives as much as possible, because they like that much more than just regular posts, right, Vic? Yes, absolutely. And, and videos work really well, especially live videos. Uh, if yeah. you do a live video, uh, it will get more organic reach uh, than a non-live video. Now, refer to rule number six. Keep it on Facebook. Okay, the longer the better. I'm not even going to touch that one. <laughs> 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 the longer the better, and Facebook will reward you with more exposure. The longer you're on it, and the more interaction people are gonna be giving on it, okay? So if your Facebook Live is 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, Facebook actually says, wow, this must be pretty good. People start to interact with it, they start sending you more traffic, okay? Keep that in mind. I heard a rumor that the cutoff was around 45 minutes uh, okay. for it to really start going into a, a very large volume of your fans. Mm -hmm. And so like the best thing you could do is actually get into meetup groups. Uh, a while back, I was doing weekly meetup groups in my local community, and that's how I actually my, got my start as a speaker. And all I would do is have a little camera sitting there, and I would broadcast that live. And that's a really great way to get started. Figure out what it is that you're presenting. Find a little, uh, a little tip, or you could teach like what you're learning here. You could just take these tips and this slide deck and go to your local community and go and, and teach a little bit about Facebook because, you know, doctors, lawyers, uh, you know, the, the, the businesses don't really know what you're learning here right now from Peter. And then just stream that live uh, right from, from your phone uh, as you're giving this presentation. It's really, really effective. Yeah, awesome. Like I said, mommy will reward you for a job well done. And we all know mommy is Facebook, right, Mr. Zuckerberg? Okay, the more the better. Ask for interaction of those on your Facebook Live like this. Hey, someone, if you're on here, if you're, why don't you type in what city and state you're from? If you like what I'm saying, press one. 
you know, all these different types of things. Press one, two, or three for specific answer. The more times they do that, the more interaction is, and mommy loves that, right? Ask where they live. Questions cause interaction. Number 16, I'll get to it tomorrow. Use delayed posting, and uh, you were saying about that program you have, delayed posting to leverage your time. This will add to consistency and free up your time totally, right, Vic? Yeah, absolutely. Uh you want to make sure that you use some sort of a post planner. Like we use several tools, uh, post planner, social kickstart is one of my favorites. And there's a new one, uh, that I'm still testing. I'm going to actually going to, uh, maybe share some of that with you. Once I actually see if it works, uh, it's a brand new software that someone presented to us in Hollywood. Um, but you want to make sure that you start to plan a theme. Uh, you don't want to necessarily just be randomly posting all over the place. And even more importantly, you want your fan pages to be topical. Like a lot of people make this mistake is they focus on their, their brand or their vision on the fan page rather than who the audience is. The fan pages that do the best, like one of mine is Success Mastermind. Peter and I have one together called Pro Marketing. And the whole idea behind pro marketing is to teaching marketing professionals how to be professional marketers. And it's all about this whole mindset thing of being a professional. A professional interacts with the world the way it is and deals with it. You know, like if, like Peter had, you know, a little uh, scribble on the whiteboard, we don't stop the webinar. We go ahead and do it. We just got notified that we're not live on Facebook anymore. So what? We'll put the replay up. It doesn't matter professionals deal with the way the world is mm -hmm. and you deal with it. And that's the, like one of the themes of pro marketing. And that's why we want to make sure that all of our fan pages are on a topic. They're on a niche and they're also attracting the type of people that you want to be seeing your content. You know, you know, you don't want to just, you want to also have a fan page about your brand, but don't put all of your eggs in that basket. It's much more important that you have groups that are topical, uh, interests that, are, that other people would like, and, and make sure you find your passion, the thing that you really want to do, and have that be your leading, uh, leading thing. Like one friend of mine, Chris Record, he used to promote a network marketing company that we were all part of years ago, and he crushed it with the uh, Walking Dead fan club. And he actually got leads from the Walking Dead fan club. I love that story because what it exemplifies is that your target audience is going to be liking the content that's on your page. And so you want to think about, wow, now all of a sudden the, my whole world opened up. You know, if you're a surfer, like I have extreme surfing lifestyles uh, is one of my fan pages. It does quite well. So back to you, Peter, I just want to emphasize you want to focus on posting with purpose. Back to you. Thanks a lot, Vic. Yeah, posting with purpose, not just, you know, throwing things out there. Uh, you want to be able to get the right people. Number 17, I love my fans. Create a fan page so you can boost your posts and have more followers. If you just do it on your regular page, you're not going to be able to boost anything, right? So create a fan page, and I don't think you're limited with 5,000 people either. Number 18, will you be my friend? Will you be my friend? Invite people from your fan page to become your friends. Sorry, going faster. I want to make sure we get everything in here. Number 19, do Facebook Lives often. This is a huge one. Vic already talked about this a little bit. Do Facebook Lives as often as possible, once a day if you can. You can even schedule a pre-recorded video to go live with a tool like Social Kickstart. But do you happen to have a link for that at all? Yeah, I put that link in the chat just now. Okay, Dynamite. Okay. Yeah, very good program. We know the programmer for that. He does a great job. Very quality work. Number 20, anticipation is making me wait. Do you know there's a lot of references to songs in here, Victor? <laughs> <laughs> and so, well, that's because we're all we're you know we're all old time rock and rollers i, I mean, know carly simon right <laughs> i got a million views on on one of my facebook uh not one of my youtube channels i got over a million views just because i was friends with the doobie brothers and i filmed them and uh -huh. and i think i'm like number four in search when you search for <laughs> doobie brothers you know awesome <laughs> <laughs> music's a great thing a little tip there guys use facebook built-in premiere feature as well 
It allows you to tell people something is coming well in advance of you either going live or uploading a video for the first time. Build up anticipation, one of the keys of marketing. And I got to tell you, full disclosure, I don't do that. Okay. This here was at the last minute. I just said, let me just do it. Okay. And so I'm telling you right now, in full disclosure, that the best way to do it is to build anticipation, get people a few days in advance, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, and have a lot more people on there, okay? So very, very important that you do that and to be able to, um, to build some anticipation to get more people on there as well too. Give other people in your organization time to actually share it with other people. Uh, those in glass houses, don't advertise on Facebook. Sponsor your best posts instead. Vic, you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, this was a big epiphany I had uh, with a lot of the new changes in Facebook. Uh, in fact, the most recent campaign that I ran was a sponsored post. What I like about sponsored posts versus ads. Now, th there was a, a, a one, of my, one of my friends and mentors is Chris Record. I was in his mastermind, and he came up with something called the dark post profits. Uh, this keyword called dark post basically is an ad that others don't see, okay? And whenever you run the ad manager, uh, there's a thing in here, create a new ad, or this little tab over there that says use existing post. Well, I started experimenting with use existing post rather than going into creating an ad, and I started seeing better results than I did with running ads. And then I started seeing sh uh, Facebook was actually shifting a lot of its focus toward transparency. Um, and so what, what's very impressive is like your, it also now tells you, here's how many people you reached organically, and here's how many people you reach with your ad. And guess what? You will reach more people organically if you sponsor a post. And this is something I talk about in, in my course, FB Relevance, a lot is you, you want to actually delay, delay. This is one of the keys. I don't run an ad on Facebook until they tell me that my post is doing well with my fans. And see, when you do that, you all of a sudden get 10 times more traffic than you expected because Facebook says, hey, you know what? This piece of content, I don't know what it is, but this content is working better on your page than others click here to spend 20 bucks and, and you'll reach 50,000 people. Most people don't actually do that. My CPA does do that, but I showed him uh, the other day that guess what? Instead of posting it to people who like your page and their fans or their friends, do that plus, okay? Do what Facebook says and recommends you to do. This is like the biggest lesson I can give you guys. Whenever Facebook gives you a notification, do exactly what they say, and then do one more thing with that exact same post or that exact same piece of content from something you learn from one of our trainings. Back to you, Peter. Yeah, that's, that's great. Number 22, I did a split. <laughs> Not in this lifetime, I'll tell you. <laughs> split test one thing at a time, either your content or your audiences. Split test, split test, split test. And this is what I was mentioning before at the very, very beginning. People that are winning, they measure and they test everything. They measure and they test everything. They just don't wing it and throw it up there, okay? Don't split test both at the same time. One at a time so you can see the results. Otherwise, it's going to get muddled together and you're going to get mud. You're not going to be able to tell. Anybody want a bonus tip? Say yes. You want a bonus tip? Number 23, once you do all that and you start to get – a, um, a feeling for what's working, okay, and you see that you're starting to get results, what do you do at that point, right? You start to floor it. Oh, sorry about that. Once you see something's work working, you pour more money into it and you step on the gas, okay? You floor it. You floor it, okay? But most people, when they first start, they floor it and they find it's not working and they lose a lot of money, okay? So you want to work it slow and then start to pick up the pace once you see something's working. So those are the tips, guys. Now, let's go a little bit further. How do you dominate on Facebook? Anybody see something in this picture here? You see what I'm saying? How do you dominate? What do you think the answer to that based on this picture? 
Type in there in the in the chat what do you think it is. I'll give you about 10 seconds to do that. I see people doing that. What are they saying, Vic? They say be different. There be you go. Different. All right. Okay. So yeah, like you know what? Put on a mask. Yeah. Right. Be 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 different than everybody else. I mean, how many of you guys have seen people do a webinar with a a a, a V for Vendetta mask on? All it takes is a few seconds to just, just to get someone's attention. But you yeah. also want to be real. You want to be different and you want to be real. There's mm -hmm. a reason why Chris Record is doing rap songs right now with like major celebrities like Grant Cardone. It's because he's different. He's actually, you know, it's like, it's, it's just about being who you are really. He's a rapper at heart. That's really who he wants to be. Peter wants to be speaking on... You know, I, I could see Peter opening like New Year's, you know, New Year's Eve. They dropped the thing. You know, Peter's talking about entrepreneurship on New Year's Eve and then Lady Gaga comes on. That's my vision for Peter, <laughs> man. Right? <laughs> That's funny. Bet, better is better, right? But different is better than better. Right. Right. Better is better, but different is better than better. Right. You see there with the, with the three chicks. Exactly. So Facebook domination secrets. These are... A lot of stuff we covered here so far. Now, what I'm going to do in the actual Facebook domination secrets, you get all of these 23, okay, plus the recordings and all of these other features as well too in Facebook domination secrets. You're going to get the 10 common Facebook mistakes, eight most effective ways to market on Facebook. Now, let me stop there for a second because you saw we just did 23, right? Now you're getting 10 plus another eight plus a whole section on Facebook page marketing. Facebook group marketing, influencer page outreach, page, uh, paid paste post campaign, paid lead generation campaign, pixel retargeting campaign, paid lead generation campaign, and how to op optimize your Facebook campaigns. Now, I'm going to go really quick over these to kind of show you. There's 10. Okay, 10 of these. Number one, the 10 common mistakes in Facebook. The very common mistakes that people make to trip them up. Number two, the eight most effective ways you want to find out about Facebook that's working, the most effective ways. Facebook page marketing, one of the most obvious ways to market on Facebook is to set up a fan page for your business, your brand, or your cause. Facebook actively promotes this feature on your website. Facebook group marketing, okay? One of the most effective ways on Facebook is also group marketing. Number five, influencer page outreach. Most people don't even know what this is. We're going to cover that as well too. Okay, paid page boost campaign. Say that three times fast. Um, another way to boost the campaign <laughs> is uh, to get a lot of traffic. Campaign. Is paid to use page boost campaign. Yeah. Oh my god, Woo! that's like she sells seashells by the yeah, seashore. I can't say that. Maybe I'll have to change that slide, Victor. <laughs> so we're going to show you more about that. Uh, paid traffic okay. campaigns. We're going to go into paid traffic campaigns. There's a reason we're doing that. If you don't master Facebook's traffic to your page post, page post, then it doesn't make a difference to go directly to your targeted website. And we'll go into detail on that. Page lead generation, paid lead generation campaigns. Okay, we're going to go into that. Pixel retargeting, which is a huge thing that most people don't do. And uh, we'll go deep into pixel retargeting. Okay, that was actually coming up backwards. But you'll see what I'm talking about. We'll have a whole section on that. Optimizing your Facebook ads, okay? Number one, reverse engineer it. Come up with your own version and test in a low budget. Create variations and again, test and test and test. Pick the winner and make further variations of it. Again, split testing, okay? That's optimizing your Facebook ads. Then we're going to cover a lot more as well in uh, the domination section. You can do something here. You can try it all yourself. Okay, ignorance is very expensive. Trial and error is very expensive if you try it yourself. Education is cheap. What we're trying to do here is to educate you and shorten the learning curve on Facebook. What's the retail value? Depends on what you do with it, right? As I said before, the time is now to figure this stuff out and not say, hey, five years, I'm going to wing it. I mean, you're not getting any younger. Time is the one thing we can't get back. So think about how much your time is worth in trial and error. You can be with your family some more, have your Facebook running all the time. You could be a celebrity if you want on Facebook or whatever you want to do and promote to learn how to promote. The left-hand side, you can make money. You can have the cars, all these types of things. 
we're going to ask you, will you be our next success story? Will you be our next success story? We can teach anybody how to do this. So Facebook domination secrets, bonus number one you're going to get. You're going to get the video version of Facebook domination secrets as well as all the other stuff I just mentioned before. Bonus number two, we're going to give you a Facebook domination mind map. Number three, domination secret resources. Number four, bonus number four, it should be say four, not one, but Facebook domination cheat sheet. So if you don't want to go through the whole thing, you don't want to go through all that, we're going to give you this big book with stuff on it, plus videos, all this type of stuff, but people love cheat sheets. How Facebook ads work, types of Facebook ads, CPA advertising, tips, and all this other stuff that's going to go with it. So here's what you get, guys. Facebook domination secrets is $97. Facebook domination secrets video, $297. That's not including the one we just did. The one we did now, we're going to give you this too. Okay, this, the video format's coming on above that, the mind map, the resource report, the cheat sheet, that's 519 bucks. But we're going to go further with that, okay? You're not going to pay four, 519 bucks. It's $47 for all the stuff we're talking about here today, $47. And we give you 100% satisfaction buy it back guarantee. If you're not happy within 30 days, let me know. I will give you your money back. I don't care. Don't even give me the reason. Just say, listen, beat didn't work for me, whatever. You got your money back 100%, no questions asked. If all we did was give you this information, you got one idea, would that be worth $47? I think so, yeah. Yeah, just right, one. yes, in the chat. I mean, if that would be worth it, it's like, I oh, want that. Yeah, Anthony, I mean, just <laughs> one of these different 23 that you didn't know. One of the Facebook 23 tips that you didn't know, I think is worth this whole webinar at times 10, okay? So here's some more bonuses we're going to add to it. And this is Victor's baby. Okay, Vic, you want to describe this a little bit, Facebook relevance? Well, here's the thing is I, I bought uh, all these Facebook courses. I spent like $1,000 on Neil Patel's course. I got into Chris Records Mastermind. I got into all these things. And then uh, I bought more Facebook courses and more Facebook courses. And what I saw they were all missing was the roll up your sleeves and actually – Here's, they were all talking about principles and mindset and strategies and charts. And here's how you pick your audience and all this nebulous stuff. But it didn't actually teach you the nit and gritty, hey, how do I actually put this into practice? And I said, as enough is enough. Um, I have to go and make this course. And so I started this, you know. Uh, I started all of a sudden noticing relevance. Uh, when, when Facebook came out with a relevance score, I said, okay, that's, that's what I'm missing. Mm -hmm. The relevance score is a measure from one to 10 on how relevant your ad or your presentation is to the person you're talking to. And if your relevance score is like four or five, as it typically is in a business ad, you're going to pay a lot to reach that person. But if, it's a nine or a 10, you're gonna start seeing an exponential decrease in your cost to reach a wider group of people. So I said, you know what? There really isn't a course that shows you systematically how to boost your relevance score. And I actually finally hit a perfect 10. On oh, really? Awesome. I hit a perfect 10 on relevance. Wow. And I said, wow. okay, I need to show people what was my perfect 10, why did I get a perfect 10, and how can I have others get a perfect 10 and then I started working with clients and I kept seeing the clients had the same thing over and over and over again. They were missing the basics that they needed, the beginner stuff. You know, even like, where do I click to go here? And that was missing from every other course I saw out there. So I said, okay, if I make this course and you buy this course, then all the other courses you spent $2,000 on by these gurus will make sense to you. So that's why I created the course, and it, it's been it's been phenomenal. Uh, it, it's it's like all of a sudden I found my lane. This is the one that you know that is helping people reach that tipping point where they can finally put all the stuff that they've been hearing about into practice. So you're giving the basic beginner beginner basic version. I think it's one ninety seven. Yeah, it's one ninety seven for, free, for right? the beginner version. Yeah, yeah, you're giving that for free. What has got like twelve videos in it or something? There's 12 videos and then two bonus videos with webinar replays. 
But you also get, even I put a link in the chat, if you register for the free account and you put in your phone number, because we want to talk to you, is you go ahead and you're actually going to get four lessons in the intermediate and four lessons in the advanced for free. So what I'm doing oh, is wow, okay. four lessons in the beginner for free, four lessons in the intermediate for free, and four lessons in the advanced for free. So you can basically see, okay, the beginner one is all about how do you get started. The internet, uh, the intermediate one is all about ads. How do you place ads? How do you turn like ads into, into uh, getting more engagement and traffic? It's all about traffic, traffic, traffic. Mm -hmm. The advanced course is all about conversions. It's all about converting into leads and converting into sales. And guys, this is like everything. It's like everything. And then there's also a mastery level. And I, we could talk more about that. I'm working on a mastery level with, you know, digital marketer, the, 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 the de facto uh, certification course that does the uh, traffic and conversion summit. Mm -hmm. uh, and so all of that is, in, is at the mastery level. Awesome. But the beginner version is where you want to get started. I, Peter, everyone here gets that as a bonus just for buying your program. Great, great stuff. That's $197 value, guys. That comes for free with the $47 uh, domination book. Also, we're going to give you Twitter domination secrets. This also comes with video and print, okay? If you like the Facebook domination, we have a Twitter version of that, which I don't have time to show you today, but you're going to get that included with this as well, too. That's a $97 value. I did a curation of the Star Wars movies, and I did that for network marketers, okay? That's gonna be included as well too. That's a $295 value and it looks something like this. So let's get rolling here and we'll get started with Star Wars. And I spliced all these together and commented on what Star Wars means for network marketers. All right, I'm not time to go into it, but it's it's a whole hour worth of that and the different segments on the philosophy of Star Wars and how you can use that for your mindset. Bonus number four, Tom versus Time, about being world class. Okay, I curate all of those in the Tom versus Time. If you've seen them, it's dynamite. That's included as well too, $497 value. It takes me a long time to do all that, and uh, this is a sample. Man, I still... I still do this and I do it better than I've ever done it. So why should I stop? Whether you like him or not, the guy is a pro. Number five. Oh, yeah, he won the other day. Did you see that game? I didn't see it. I heard he killed him, though. Oh, he totally <laughs> slaughtered them. Toast. Oh, it was it was it was amazing. Hey, I'm I'm a New Yorker, so uh, you know, Boston's not on my on my number one list, but I can I can respect professionalism, you know. Uh, and the last bonus we have here is the Think and Grow Rich seven week mastermind. I spent seven weeks, that's seven hours of content going through Think and Grow Rich, and I curate it throughout the whole book and also translate it into what it means for network marketers, okay? So it should be Think and Grow Rich for network marketers, basically is what it should be, okay? This whole thing is for you for free as well, too. That's a 197 value. So if you add all those together with the other stuff that we're giving you, okay, you're talking $1,804, okay? Right, so Peter, why are you doing forty-seven dollars? I mean, uh, I mean, you could be charging four ninety-seven for this thing. Yeah, absolutely. I know I could. I know I could because you know what? I, like I said before, I'm a giver. I could charge four ninety-seven for this every day of the week and get it right. Forty-seven dollars because I know that this is going to help your business, and I know there's a lot of people in here that are in my companies, right? So I want you to get this so this way you can use it, grow your business, and then hopefully I'll make it on the back end. Right? I'm not right. stupid, right? I'm not stupid. But I want you to see results with this, okay? I spent a lot of time putting it together. I want to see results. And after we do this results, I'm going to tweak it a little bit more and I'm going to up the price, okay? Because it's worth it. I'll tell you right now, it's worth it. So 47 bucks. We're going to show you how to get it. What, what if I add in an extra bonus? Uh, I want to sell this product. Uh, yeah. I would like to actually turn it into our affiliate system that we have. Yeah. And then we're going to teach people who buy this today how I sell this on Facebook so you make your 47 bucks back in your very first sale. How about that as a hey, bonus? Well, right now it's not an affiliate program, but we can do that. We yeah, we're going to do that. that. Yeah. 
All right, Dynamite, Dynamite. I'll have that ready for you by next week. Deal. Virtual handshake, Victor. <laughs> virtual handshake. All right. All right. So it's not eighteen hundred and four dollars. It's forty-seven bucks and risk-free too. If you're not happy, just tell me. Right. Wow, Peter. So, I mean, you you came out of left field with this. I mean, <laughs> I didn't know. I mean, I, seriously. I was waking up. It was like nine o'clock in the morning. I get a message from Peter saying, Hey, can you come on? I said, well, I haven't shaved. I'm not in my hat. I don't have my <laughs> suit on. I'm, I'm just sitting here having marketed for the last two weeks for Kevin Harrington. I'm like, Oh my, I have no sleep. And he says, come on a webinar. I said, uh -huh. yeah, I'm there. <laughs> He's there. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. So you got to ask yourself guys, you see the link in the bottom FB domination secrets.com. If you go there, go right to a shopping cart. Um, if you want to pay with anything else other than, say, credit card, you want to do PayPal, you want to do Bitcoin, contact me, contact Victor. I'll tell you what to do. Ask yourself the question, are you worth the investment? Are you worth the investment? 47 bucks to up your game on Facebook to be able to use. As long as you implement this, if you're not going to use it, don't bother buying it. I don't need right, your, 40, I yes, I don't yes, need yes, your $47, yes. okay? I want results. I want results. And you got to promise me you're going to give me a testimonial. That's it, okay? So if you take action now and you go to fbdominationsecrets.com, you'll be able to get it. Now, this is a pre-sell, okay? I am pre-selling this because I have a few tweaks I want to make to it. So it's probably going to be a few days to a week by the time I'm finished with it. And after you do this, we're, I have it in a database. We're going to contact you. We'll give you the download link. And it's actually better that we did this, Victor, so, because you're telling me that uh, you're going to put a, an affiliate thing to this as well, too. So give us a few days to do that. Okay, and then we're going to set this all up for you so this way you can make money by referring other people. It's not a multi level, it's a regular product, so we're going to give you a chance to be able to make money with this. So, guys, okay. I want to thank you very much for coming on, Victor. Back to you. Okay, so uh, I know you have to go, Peter, but I'm, I'm happy to stay here and help everyone make sure that they get their, uh, their sales in. Or some people said they want a PayPal. You, yeah. Do you have a PayPal.me link? I do not. I do not. All right, I, I could put something together for people and I'll just send you the money. Yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll deal with it. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right, great, guys. I want to thank you for coming on here. I'm a few minutes late for another webinar I have to be on. I hope you enjoyed this. You got a lot of value on this today. Again, $47. What is your worth? <laughs> How much you're worth, right? To do this, again, risk-free, lots of bonuses, lots of goodies. You just got to promise me you're going to engage, you're going to do it, and we want a testimonial. That's it. Okay. When we put this affiliate program together, you're going to be able to refer it to your people and you'll be able to make money uh, and be able to use that for whatever you like as well too. Maybe add it into Facebook campaigns, retargeting pixels or whatever you want to do like that. Okay. So Vic, stay on. I'm going to go over on another computer and, and start another webinar. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stay here and make sure everyone can uh, get their links handled. And in fact, if you want to, I could actually set up that, uh, that affiliate program while, while right in front of people's eyes. I could just get it done like right now. Yeah. Go for it. You got to stand okay. as long as you want, okay? Stand as long as you want, okay? Vic's a, Vic's a wizard at this <laughs> stuff. Right. If he's going to show you this stuff, I've, I've found through the years that I've known him that you really want to watch, okay? You really want to <laughs> watch. All right? So I, I'll see you guys later. All right. Okay, guys. So um, if someone uh, who – I see Mark Goldenberg here. I recognize some people. If you guys have a camera, and uh, actually well, a whole bunch of you have cameras here, uh, let me uh, just raise your hand if you want to unmute and hang out uh, and, and chat in and let's let's have a conversation about about this I mean wow I mean Peter just dropped this <laughs> it's, like, it's like what the heck what just happened all right Thaddeus says I'll see you guys later hey Thaddeus nice to meet you uh, make sure you register uh, for FB relevance uh, so that you can get your bonuses. And uh, as soon as that payment comes through, I'm gonna give you an upgrade inside of your account so you can get the beginner, the whole beginner course. Uh, let me show you what's contained inside of there. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Uh, if somebody, uh, who, if you wanna raise your hand, if you wanna talk, okay, so we have Monica. So I'm gonna unmute you, Monica. Hi, Monica. How are you doing out there? Do you have any questions that I could answer or any help that you need with, uh, with making sure you get uh, Peter's program? Uh, let's see, I'm gonna put the link in here. I think it's HTTP FB domination 
secrets.com fb dominate wait i spelled domination wrong f fb domination it is a one-time fee that is right secrets.com uh it's what we call a lost leader in the industry but here's the thing it shows that you're committed it shows that you're willing to learn and it shows that you actually want to be an affiliate and promote it with us when we turn it to 97 and um that's a fantastic deal i mean Wow, so much value that Peter just gave us. Uh, Monica, you're unmuted. So uh, you want to say a few words? What did you think about this? I can't hear you yet. I see Jerry here. Hey, Jerry, unmute you. I unmuted you. Come on, how you doing, man? Jerry. It's off. You're good. Now, hey, like, Jerry, how's it going? Is it blinking? No, it's not, it's, not search, it's not in the search mode. It will show up. It's not in the search mode. You got to hold that down now. Hold it down. All right. Well, I I, I, um, I hear you, Jerry. There, but uh, do. Okay. So Callie wants to say something. So let me unmute you, Callie. Hi, Callie. Hi, Victor. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can see. I can hear you. Okay, great. Um, I just want to say that I'm I'm super excited about this, and uh, I love all the products that you guys have brought out to us. Like I have Social Jam and Social Kickstart too, and it's just been like super beneficial as far as um, scheduling things. And I'm using it for all of my groups and all of my pages. So I'm just really excited about this as well. Um, I think it's going to be a really great thing for my team. Excellent. Thank you. That's very, very kind of you. And where are you, where are you from? I'm in Pennsylvania. Awesome. Awesome. And um, do you have a video too, or are you just on audio? I'm just on audio. I don't have very good service where I'm at right now. Okay. Uh, well, it's nice to see your picture, at least there. And, <laughs> and so how, how, are you, how are you doing with Soci Jam? I love it. Um, I, a lot of times I'll forget that, you know, when I'm going to make a post real quick, I'll forget that I have it. Um, <laughs> but I need to get more in the habit of using it for everything. But um, the only thing that I did notice about Soshi Jam was for some people that maybe have an older phone, they don't see it all the time. Yeah. Um, and, and unfortunately, um, that's uh, in the phone itself. There's character sets. <laughs> that Soci Jam needs in order to create the effect of the bold and italics and underlines. Mm -hmm. And some older phones don't have that. Uh, I was actually going to do a lesson on how to correct that with your ads, because what you do is you target the type of phones that people do have that can see that with your post. Oh, wow. That is, oh, that's so smart. <laughs> but you know what's really cool, though? <laughs> is what we found is if you don't put too much of those things in there, you still get the interaction because what Facebook looks at is did someone respond at all? And if all they see is garbled characters, they're going to contact you and they're going to put a comment in the post, say, hey, I can't see this. And that gives you the opportunity to say, hey, go back to your computer and read the post on a desktop. And if you go through my course, FB Relevance, you'll see my whole strategy, okay, is you engage them on their phones and you close them on their desktop. When they're sitting at their desk, they're focused. They're not sitting there at a bar, okay? Like if you're a, if you're a woman, I, I always say the analogy of Facebook is like a bar. Uh, and you got to think of the type of conversations you have on Facebook are bar type conversations. Now, what do you do at the bar? You talk about sports, you talk about uh, who's dating who, and you talk about um, uh, you know, news, right? And so what are the biggest things that people talk about on Facebook? Those three things. Right. And so if you're pitching your network marketing opportunity at a bar, would you walk up to a total stranger and start pitching them, uh, hey, join USANA or join, uh, you know, uh, join this... Hey, hey ch check out this app that I have on my phone. Do you want to buy it? Would you go just talk to a total stranger <laughs> while they're watching football and, and ask them to do that? 
However, let's say you stroke up a conversation with them and you found out you had an interest in common and you say, you know what, what do you say we uh, have coffee tomorrow, right? Uh, or I'll meet you at the bar before it opens, right? That's the analogy uh, that I'm trying to convey inside of FB Relevance to get you guys to understand that you got to reach people at their desktop. Now, here's the, here's the problem. You're going to spend, I spent as high as, do not, $20 a click to get the right type of person with a very small niche audience, people who love Kevin Harrington Shark Tank and have money to click on the ad. But guess what? I could show you my numbers. I've never seen this before. I've had people four clicks for sales. Four clicks for sales. That's a 100% conversion rate. Uh, I could show you in my emails of the buyers list, the follow-up email I sent to the buyers list when we first did this launch, we had a 100% open rate on email. So people say email marketing is dead. It's not dead at all. Mm -hmm. Email marketing is alive and well, but you have to, to just, just connect with people on a personal level. It's just like that very first slide that Peter shared. 97% of the decision to buy happens on their phone and on the internet, but where they execute is going to be when they connect with you. It's when they have a chance to connect with you like we are right now in, in this uh, Zoom room. <clears throat> right. Oh, yeah. So uh, let me know if you've bought in, if you say, uh, just say, yes, I bought it in the chat if you bought Peter's $47 program today. Just write, write in the chat if you've bought it today because I want to support Peter in this launch because I've never seen him give so much value for so little money. I mean, he must be up to something really big. All right, I purchased, I purchased, okay, and I buy, okay, okay. Uh, write in the chat if you go ahead and bought, uh, if you just finished your checkout. Okay, I'll get buying as soon as I get back to my credit card, haha. <clears throat> okay, how can you access the training? Uh, you're going to access the training because uh, Peter's going to send me the buy.